On November 12, 2021, China's official media, The People's Daily, reported that the cost of wind power in China has fallen sharply and is even slightly lower than that of thermal power, making it very competitive. In fact, in China, the cost of wind power can already compete with new coal-fired power plants, and in some places even with gas-fired plants. However, while the construction of wind power generation facilities in China is in full swing, European and American countries began to dismantle related facilities on a large scale in 2018 and even rejected wind power generation, saying that it is harmful. So, what exactly is the harm of wind power generation? Why does China still want to develop wind power generation? Okay, that and more is exactly what we are going to talk about. Let's get stated. The 21st century is known as the century of renewable energy, countless new energy sources stand out. Among them, wind power, with its unique advantages, has become the world's fastest applying new energy. Between 1990 and 2010, countries were scrambling to develop and research new types of wind power generation equipment. During this period, Europe and the United States has always occupied the forefront of the world's wind power development. In particular, the commitments made by European and American countries to reduce carbon dioxide emissions have played a positive role in promoting the development of wind power. In 2012, wind power in Europe has covered nearly 50 million people, the prospect is very good. At the time, the European Wind Energy Association even vowed, it is expected that by 2050, all Europeans will have access to wind power. The whole of Europe will benefit greatly from this. It is undeniable that until 2012, Europe did lead the world in wind energy development. Denmark took the initiative to increase high taxes on coal companies, while reducing taxes on new energy companies, forcing all of them to look in the direction of new energy. As a result, many industrial giants using traditional coal to generate electricity were forced to use wind power, making Denmark one of the most advanced countries in Europe in wind power technology. The Danish Prime Minister did not hide his ambition at the time and said, we plan to have Danish wind turbines available to the whole world by 2030. However, wind power, which has a great future, suffered a heavy blow in 2018 and even fell out of the historical stage of Europe and the United States step by step. Why is it? In September 2018, an environmental survey report by Princeton University in the United States completely nailed wind power generation to the pillar of stigma in history. In this report, Princeton University's dean of the School of the Environment stated, wind power is an outright scam that, on the surface, appears to be a new energy trend, but in reality, wind power poses an endless array of potential and dangerous kinds of risks. Then, in his report, he listed the three sins of wind power. The first is that wind power contributes to global warming. In his view, wind power, on the surface, appears to be environmentally friendly. But when large-scale wind farms come together, they will have a specific physical effect, making the temperature rise by 0.5 degrees Celsius in a short period of time which is bound to increase global warming. Harvard researchers have used computer simulations to make a more detailed determination. The reason for the temperature rise is that when the wind impacts with the impeller, the flow of the atmosphere and the flow of air on the land surface can disrupt each other, thus changing the temperature of the wind farm and further affecting the local climate conditions. They gave a rather shocking conclusion, wind power is like the butterfly effect, where the changes brought about by an impeller may backfire on humans a thousand times over in the future. When this statement was made, many European countries, which have taken environmental protection as their responsibility, wavered and did not know what to do. The second sin of wind power, as outlined by the report, has led countries such as Switzerland, Serbia, Denmark and the UK to suspend all wind power projects that have been approved but not yet built. According to him, the impellers used in wind power generation have caused great damage to the environment of birds. 
When the blades rotate at high speed, even the fastest flying birds in the world have difficulty crossing them and will be directly shot by the impeller. In the decade from 2005 to 2015, 700,000 birds were killed by wind power in the U.S. state of California. The number of birds killed by wind power in the European countries of Britain, France and Germany exceeded 500,000. If all the countries where wind power is used are brought together, the number of birds killed by wind power is no less than a million per year worldwide. At the same time, the sound of wind turbines spinning can disturb local bird populations and even cause species extinction. The third sin of wind power is the public opposition caused by noise pollution. European countries are relatively small and many wind power projects are located on the outskirts of villages and towns. In the night, the sound of roaring machines makes it difficult for people to sleep peacefully, even during the day, the sound of whistling impellers makes people suffer. Under the heavy blockage, the wind power projects, which were once glorious, were completely crushed since 2018 Europe and the United States announced that no new wind power projects would be built, all the wind power projects under construction but not yet completed were dismantled, and the existing wind power projects were maintained as they were. However, while Europeans and Americans are busy dismantling wind power projects on a large scale, the Chinese have not stopped building. Why is China not giving up on a new energy source that has been rejected in Europe and the United States? In fact, it's not because China doesn't care about the environment, but because China's wind power projects have long taken into account the three sins that Engadolv Lahachi described. China is rich in wind energy resources, according to the National Wind Energy Survey, China has a technically exploitable onshore wind energy resource of 2.57 billion kilowatts at a height of 70 meters, with the rest being distributed mainly along the southeast coast. This set of data shows that China's wind power plants are located at relatively low altitudes, and the straight-line distance between the wind impeller and the land is quite close. This makes it extremely difficult to disturb the atmospheric airflow. In other words, the wind power plants built in China have avoided the risk of contributing to global warming. In addition, China also has ways to deal with the two problems of the so-called endangered bird habitat and noise pollution. Unlike Europe and the United States, China is in a monsoon climate zone, with southeast winds in summer and northwest winds in winter, and the migration of birds follows the monsoon. Therefore, China only needs to build wind power plants in a direction perpendicular to the monsoon's path, and it will be safe and sound. At the same time, China is a vast country, so wind power generation is mostly located in sparsely populated areas. There, wind power projects have little impact on people's living environment. This is why China has always insisted on wind power. Today, a large number of outstanding wind power companies have emerged in China to lead Asia. At the same time, Chinese wind turbine manufacturers are also gradually opening up the international market, making China's wind turbine export countries expand from 1 in 2007 to 65 in 2021, and the world market share is also expanding. According to the China Renewable Energy Development Report, by the end of 2021, 3,071 wind power plants had been built across the country, surpassing nuclear power as China's third largest power source. Well, thanks for listening. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas. See you next time.